Hi, it's Shelley from Little Rock Equine Vets. So this second horse or pony that we're looking at is a little boy called Harry. And as, uh, as you'll see, Harry has a few issues uh, with his sheath area. And we're going to take a closer look under sedation and, and see what's what. This sheath, as you can see, is very swollen. It's got a bit of pitting edema to it. So if I put my thumb into it, you can see where the thumb mark is. Kind of creates a little dent. So what we're gonna do very gently is I'm gonna put my hand up here and see if I can extrude his penis. Hopefully. Good boy. So we'll just start with pulling some of this down. I'm sure all the men watching this right now are kind of crossing their legs. There's quite a lot of build up there you can see. Hasn't been cleaned in a while. It's just all dead skin and grease. So this little horse, or this little pony, is really quite dirty. You can smell it. Yeah, you can, so we just need to keep cleaning until we get a nice clean piece of cotton wool back. So, unlike Lennox from the earlier video, this boy isn't so keen to bring down his shaft, but he is starting to feel a bit more comfortable, so we should be able to extrude everything now. There we go. So again, head of the penis. I was talking about where, just in here, you sometimes get a little bit of a bean. There's actually not one in there, which is a bit surprising. I'll just wait for a minute and he will relax in a minute or two. So he will. The one thing you don't want to do when cleaning this area is use any extreme force because you don't want to hurt him. Up here, which feel like sarcoid, and if I can, Exteriorise them, I will. Oh, they're right up there. So yeah, he's got a couple of minor lumpy sarcoids up there, so he does, but they're not ulcerated. Because again, I'm not gonna leave blood back on my, my gloves, not that I would expect it normally, but just because he's so keen not to let me exteriorise anything. But that looks a bit cleaner. If nothing else, it looks a bit cleaner. It's not sore looking. That's as far as he's going to go. Oh. Oh, that. Aha. There we go. So, with this boy, you can see there are no areas of ulceration on this penis. He's determined to whisk it back in. Everything looks good and clean. And there's no signs of any lumps on the actual shaft of the penis, which is good. In terms of signs of trouble with uh, a swollen sheath, uh, is stamping and kicking a bit like colic, um, or a lot of flies around that area in the summer. And those two signs for me as a vet would be a reason to call me out to do a proper thorough examination. The other thing I would do with him, because you know that he does have a very dirty sheath area, yeah. is Water-based lubricant's a really good one. Yeah. So personally, steer, steer clear of the sheath cleaners that you get in the equestrian centres or folk that will do a sheath clean. For me, once you've had a thorough clean under sedation, the way to, to keep it clean is to maintain it. So if you go and get a water-based lubricant from like a farm shop, so you know the one down local to us yeah. here, just ask them for a lambing lubricant. Right. Water-based gel, handful of it. Yeah. Once every couple of weeks, and just wipe it around the inside of the sheath. Yep. That moisturises everything, so okay. the skin and the dirt naturally leave as the penis is extended and, and put away again. So that's the, the one of the best ways of keeping a healthy environment for our little bits. Okay, dokie. All right. Yeah, brilliant. So hopefully, um, the video with Harry has helped you all understand a wee bit more about the issues and concerns that we can have whenever we're looking at, at a horse's penis. Um, squamous cell carcinoma is something that everybody should be aware of uh, and should keep an eye out for because if we can catch it in the early stages it's much 
easier to treat than if we catch it further down the line. If there's anything else you'd like to talk to us about, please don't hesitate to contact us at Little Rock Equine Vets. Catch you later. Bye.